Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3285, where we have 26 moves to do all sorts of things. Let me adjust the frame here a bit. We have got to collect four popcorn, 28 chocolate, and 20 licorice. Now, I've got chocolate under marmalade, under licorice locks, and under sugar chests, and there are exactly 28 on the board, if I counted correctly, which is always questionable. So really, I don't have to allow the chocolate to grow anymore. I want to get rid of it completely when I get rid of it, if I can. But I do need to try to get this licorice being produced as quickly as possible, and I do need to attack these popcorn. And it's tough because I have to hit them three times each. They will produce some color bombs for me, but it's a lot of work. It's hard to get to, and I don't even have really any good moves to begin with here. Actually, what I should be doing is trying to get, ooh, I like this, trying to get over here and opening this marmalade up because I really do need that licorice flowing. Hopefully I'm not too late already. So here I've got chocolate. If I get rid of the chocolate, no new chocolate can grow. When I can't get rid of the chocolate, that's when new chocolate can be produced. And the same thing happens with the licorice. About the same thing. If I take out licorice, no new licorice gets formed. And when I leave the licorice alone, and that's easy to do because I have no licorice, then new licorice can be formed if I make a space for it. Oh, this is beautiful. Right there, I love that. Uh, there's sometimes, and actually usually, a one or a two turn delay. So the licorice production is a bit tenuous. All right, the more candy I have on the board, the more purple I'll have on the board, presumably, the better off this will be. I'm going to risk this and try to take out chocolate, because when I take out chocolate, there's more space for more candy. Uh, so now is a good time to do this. Let's hope it opens this enough. I think that I probably left that licorice way too late, and I'm going to have a tough time getting this done. I'm going to try to make a wrap draft combo and hope the chocolate doesn't take it over. Watch how beautiful this is. It'll hit this twice and almost open it up. I'm going to be kind of wasting this, and um, but I will be making some influence on the board. I can't win anyway at this point in time. I just don't have the licorice flowing. So I'm just kind of uh, giving an example of what fun things can happen on a board like this. Let's go ahead and remove all orange from the board. Concentrate the colors down. That gave me a, a fairly decent shot at a lot of different things. Not quite there. The chocolate, no problem. And I don't even have to really unwrap the chocolate if some of it grows somewhere else. But you can see that it's hard to coordinate all three of those. And I do need to focus on that upper left-hand corner and freeing that licorice that's available first as quickly as I can. So let me pause the recording, go get some more lives, come back, and try to put it all together for you. Okay, this is interesting. I want to open this up, but I've got a lot of cool, fun things over here. Let's go ahead and take this first. Try to stem the tide there. And now let's see if other things are still available. I still can make a wrapped candy, which I like better than the stripe. If I could make this stripe and be fairly assured that this would survive, I would do it. But this blue would drop right here, open this up, and ruin my chances of making a wrapped candy. And the wrapped candy are so important for getting the popcorn popped, and I know how tough it is to get that to happen. Oh, nice. Well, thank you. Now, this color bomb is in distinct danger here. Unless I can take out chocolate, and I don't see how to, it's going to get consumed. So I can take out either purple or orange at this point in time. I'm just going to do a straight count. I know that this is wrapped up, and maybe it would be a good idea to take out orange, but I think I'm going to do the most prevalent color. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, all things being equal, let's open that up. Nice. Okay, so this is going to strike this once and then take out the color bomb. It's going to strike this twice. But I think I'm going to do this first and hope that this survives. Oh my goodness. I love wrapped wrapped combos. 
So a wrapped, wrapped combo will strike this twice, strike this twice, strike this twice, miss this entirely. Striped wrapped would hit each of these once, plus it would hit this twice, and it would hit this twice, plus it would set this up. I think I'm actually going to do striped wrapped on this board. The way things are set up where I've got these other wrapped candies, I think this is a better opportunity here. So that color bomb got taken out, but when it does that, it concentrates the colors down, makes it more likely that we're going to get more of these guys. And now I have to decide what the next thing is to do. Do I want to just take out a color here, or do I want to try to set this up with a special? It's in a fairly decent spot. Special shouldn't be terribly difficult to put together with this, right? I still have 16 moves left. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Yikes. I need uh, licorice to show up. I'm actually going to take this move, which is going to hit this, but that's okay. Look at how much gets opened. And I need licorice. Oh my goodness. I think I'll take this. Can I get another orange over here? Perfect. This is going to blow this open. And so I have another stream for getting licorice. Plus, I might end up taking out all the chocolate this way, and it would be good now to have the chocolate just removed from the board. All right, so now I have this situation. I need licorice. In order to get licorice, I have to make sure I don't take any licorice out, which is easy right now. I don't have any licorice. But now I'm getting licorice, but now I accidentally took some out. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this. Nope, we did not get a licorice stream. Because again, sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay. And I'm going to do this. Now we're getting some licorice. One, two, three, four, five. All of the licorice I need is currently on the board. So I just have to get it removed. All right, so that's how I beat it. That was actually my fifth playthrough for recording purposes. But I didn't mind because it was fun. I had a good time. This one I thought uh, relied a lot on strategy and not as much on luck. But clearing that that uh, area out over here in the beginning is what really sets us up for some good success. And we only have a few colors on the board, so once we get things open, that's when we will get that luck in the form of those specials. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.